Well, I mean, let's go left first. Are we about to do like a boss rush? We're about to do like a boss rush, aren't we? I mean, we'll start over here. Because I, I can't help but notice that uh, there's a few symbols up there that seem to relate to bosses that we've already fought. Goodness, if I'm not mistaken, you're from our home, the Celestial Plane. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. Who would have thought we would meet again after all this time? All my waiting under the dark, cold ice has paid off. We Celestials may have lost our physical form, but our spirits live on and are with you for all eternity. Hmm. We were heartbroken after the battle on the Celestial Plane when you fell to this world from that with that monster. We managed to escape before it happened, but little did we know the tragedy that was about to befall us. After we ran away from the battle, we boarded the Ark of Yamato hoping to get away. But not long after we set sail, countless monsters disappeared from the depths of appeared rather from the depths of the Ark. Having nowhere to run, all of us were devoured by the monsters. This Ark, which was built by the Lunar Civilization, it gets a little bit more Skies of Arcadia with every time, turned out to be a cargo ship designed to transport thousands of monsters. Not long after setting sail, the Ark lost its rudder and plummeted down to this world. The Celestials on board, board each and every one of us, were slain. God, I miss Skies of Arcadia. I don't know why the Moon Tribe built such a thing. But when the Ark fell to this world and brought such tragedy, well, it was nothing short of a disaster. Okami Amaterasu, it seems that the Ark has begun to move again after all this time, but this place is like a nest of dark beings. Please take care not to be sucked into the darkness. Don't worry, brother, we're gonna go beat up all that darkness right now. You first. There we are. We're gonna do a boss rush. A good old fashioned boss rush. Alright. Yeah, I, I've forgotten how to fight you. <laughs> um. We did not do that. We spent some time waiting. For. What? I do not recall. Um. It's been at least five minutes since we fought. Ah, yes, of course. Now I remember. Where's the light? There we go. And then you get zapped. Yeah, yeah. And then you turn into the little ones. And then you beat him. We continue. For slow time. And, uh, you know. We're probably going to be doing a lot of skipping. Uh, game fighting in the new future, I feel. We got him again. Any input? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Walker gonna show up and, you know, talk some shit. Alright. Uh, yep. Get me out of here. Uh, oh, portal of light. How boring. I like how canonically Amy just kind of doesn't give a shit. You know? Just like... Eh, whatever. Just kind of bored by the whole proceedings, usually. Goes to sleep regularly. Okami Amaterasu. It seems one of the dark beings has disappeared. If only all the Eva power would leave our midst, then I'm sure the Ark would return to the Celestial Plane. Ah, I was ready for immortality. But now it seems the time has come for my spirit to take leave. It's brought joy to my heart to have met you before I depart. I hope you will return to the Celestial Plane, Amaterasu, and that you will bring more light to this world once more. What the fuck was that? Animation. Whatever. So, Full of Dark Beings was actually like five. I feel like a whole ship of Celestials should have realistically been able to take five guys, but don't make me fight Orochi again. <laughs> Don't make me fight Orochi for a third fucking time. Uh, who is this guy? I don't remember fucking Cowman. Who was this one? Yeah, 
Yeah, I go through the portal again. Um, I don't really remember the one with the two swords, either. Oh, it's fucking Crimson Chin? Oh my god, you get to- why do we have to fight you again? You suck. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. I did wonder when the Ark began to move. Lo and behold, it's the guardian of our home, the Celestial Plane. Why did such tragedy befall us? This Ark was built by the Lunar Civilization as a rescue boat. It had become enshrined in the Celestial Plane for many years. We believed it would be safe. In order to ensure our future existence, we fled to the Ark when the monsters attacked us. Attacked us. How could we have known this Ark would become our coffin? I don't know. Maybe it was our destiny. Perhaps it was all decided from the start. That monster Orochi who attacked the Celestial Plane had suddenly come flying across the Sea of Stars. And after destroying our people and our homeland, it went on to cause pain and suffering in this world. Perhaps, perhaps it was all preordained by the Moon Tribe. Stop talking about the Moon Tribe, you're just making me sad. Okami Amaterasu, I sense the presence of someone here on the Ark. Could it be that man from the Moon Tribe? I feel his pain somewhere deep down inside this Ark. Amaterasu, you must save him without a moment's delay. You must stop the seeds of tragedy from being sown. In order for the evil in this world to be exercised, the Sun God Amaterasu must return to the Celestial Plane. I pray that you will watch over the world from the heavens, and that you will bestow peace upon us all. I don't want to fight Orochi again. Stop talking about the Moon Tribe. God damn it. I've been waiting for you, Okami Amaterasu. My fleeting spirit will disappear at any moment. I'm glad I was able to hold on long enough to meet with you. Long, long ago, you and Orochi fell together to this world. Then you waited for the Chosen One to put an end to Orochi's life. You waited patiently for countless moons. Until finally, the Chosen One, Nagi, was born. Together, you sent the monsters of the, of the moon to its fate. You didn't realize it, but that was just one ripple in the wave of darkness. It's exactly a hundred years since the legend of Nagi. The monster was quietly recovering its strength for all those years, until it used Nagi's descendant Susano to complete its revival. And once again, it tried to destroy this world. When you defeated it, the next stage of its plan began. It cursed the land with its evil power. And the world was soon overrun with monsters from the Ark. Orochi's evil presence was more than enough to power them all. The smoldering powers of darkness exploded throughout Nippon. And the world was thrown into a storm of chaos never seen before. After that, well, you saw with your own eyes, the evil powers that left those monsters you defeated have all gathered here in the Ark of Yamato. Exorcism of the roots of evil is a daunting task. You must keep your eyes open for what is in the center of it all. Yeah, man, and brother, don't worry. And if I to roach me again. Okami Amaterasu. It has begun at long last. The waves of darkness have finally begun to roll. All this evil power. I cannot hold on much longer. Amaterasu, there is one final thing I must tell you. The man of the moon tribe with the golden hair. I want you to tell him something. The Celestials will never forget how he fought alongside you when Orochi attacked. We are forever grateful. Yeah, let's go fight Waka, I guess. You know, seems like the only one left to fight at this point. We did fight him once, way, way back when. Okami Amaterasu, just being able to see you with my own eyes, I can tell you, can't tell you how much joy it brings me. It pains me that I can't remain with you until the end, but I know that you won't let us down. Now I must join the others, but I will never forget you and we, how we used to play in the fields in our homeland. I pray that you will always shine bright, Amaterasu.
They die so dramatically. What's it gonna be? Oh yeah, he's really showing it. Hmm. There you are, Amaterasu. I thought I could handle this before you arrived, but it seems I have met my match. <laughs> this brings back memories, ma chérie. Remember when we faced Orochi together on the celestial plane? Behold, it is shrouded in darkness, but make no mistake. This is none other than Yami, the evil ruler of darkness. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing going on. It was he who slew the celestials on board this very ark, and brought misfortune upon the land of mortals. Of course, it's too dark to see his true form now. And so it begins. The dreaded day of darkness is upon us. Is it really just like a ball with some lines on it? This is very disappointing for the form of the ultimate emperor of darkness. Hmm. Ah, fuck. Not again. Is he so he's stealing all the power? That's probably bad. It doesn't look good. Yeah. Distorted time and space being brings about this phenomenon. This ill-fated day only occurs once every 100 years. Nobody, not even the gods, has the power to stop it. Still, I shall stand firm and fight this battle, for it was I who brought the Ark of Yamato to the Celestial Plane, but I was oblivious to the evil that lurked in its depths. I caused the death of countless innocent Celestials, and brought a curse upon the land of mortals. Classic French. However, I cannot resist, reset my actions, nor undo the past. Amaterasu, Orochi can only be defeated with the power of the Chosen One. That's what I told you, and you waited for me without question. You waited patiently in this land of mortals. You waited for the day that Nagi, the Chosen One, was born. You believed in me despite knowing that I count myself among the ranks of the accursed Moon tribe who had escaped from the Lunar Realm. I was deeply moved by your earnest spirit. That is why my faith in you has not waned since that fateful day, when we engaged Rauchi in battle side by side. Amaterasu, you must return to the Celestial Plane. 
You must do so in order to bring peace to this world. He's fucking dead. Now I'm not sad about that one. Alright, so we're gonna fight it as a basic wolf. This is very- yo, get off me. Okay. I mean, this- this is a nice twist on- on the mechanics, to be honest with you. Alright, now fight him with no power. Alright, one power. Just like that. All right, that that twist did not return. Did not last for very long, to be honest. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. But we learned rejuvenation, right? Yeah. Alright, it didn't really work too well, but you know, that's the idea. I understand the idea. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So my main issue with taking this enemy terribly seriously is that this is just like a basic enemy that's annoying. You know, the glowing room ball. Alright, what now? Power slash. Sick. Slash that bitch. Slash that bitch again. Alright, alright. It's starting to snowball a bit now. So now it's gonna be the trees? The trees, yeah, the green sprout. Oh, yeah, crack that boy open. Nope, nope. Mm. Right. It helps if you actually hit him. There you go. Alright. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Open the boy. Okay, that's... That can't be it. We still have like nine powers more to get. I think my controller just disconnected. All right. Yes, it did. Hey, that's okay. You know, just what keyboards for. All right. Please put me out of the options. Thank you. All right. Now it's a different colored ball. No touching. Under ah. Nope. Can't do water yet. This is like the logical conclu conclusion to things. The final boss would have to make you use like every power, right? You know, even if uh, rejuvenation, eh, didn't have to do that one too much to be honest. Oh, what the fuck are you up to, brother? Oh my god. Slice him. It doesn't really seem too bothered about the slicing, if I'm to be honest. Water sprout. Excellent. Yeah, now he's gonna be all on fire. Well, not for long. Um, climb it? Yeah, there he is.
Hey, no. Oh, that's fair. What do we get after that? Wind? Crescent. No, that's the moon. We definitely didn't get the moon after that. Whatever. Yeah. Alright, just bear. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll not get hit this time. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll splash you, you know, if we must. Can't see shit? Alright, sick. I can't say, like, it's super gripping as a fight so far, but it is definitely fitting, you know? Can't, can't accuse it of being anything else. I do wish the enemy was uh, slightly more intimidating than a glowing ball, though. Well, with a fish. Being piloted by a fish. Alright, what kind of ball now? Ice ball, probably? Yeah, because we have to do fire next. Okay. You want me to do this? Like, uh, mm -hmm. may, may I hit you now? No, okay. Understood. Bounce these, right? Yeah. All right, not 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 like that though. All right, all right. Big combos. Missed that one. It's okay. All right. Oh, ooh, big malfunction. All right, let's get him. I was going to give me the power. Sick. So this is fire? No, Gale Storm. That would make sense. Oh, just let me hit the board. Fine. Sick. Once I get the power to slow time, it's all over. Inferno. Bah. Hey, but what if I throw some fire at you, yeah? No. Fuck you, though. Hey, uh, can we bounce the bombs? No, okay. Ah, but I would have probably been able to inferno the bombs, right? Yeah, that would have made sense. Sick. Time control? Time, time control? Fail of Mist? Yeah, that was the one. Sick. So now, 
Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Too slow. Nope, way too bad. Way too bad. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, what is does it, what do we do with that one now? Oh my god, it exposes the boy. Oh, Let me at him. Let me at him. Alright. Now we're talking though. Alright, so we'll, we'll hit him with one of those. You know, then we'll hit him with one of those. Hit him with one of these. Yeah. Show me that boy. Oh, and uh, slow time. Sl hold on. Slow time, though. Uh, hold on. Slow time, though. That's going to be the new strat. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got legs now, bro. Oh, shit, it's getting serious. I just hate you. It does not appear so. Alright, alright. Ah, ooh, ah, where's the lightning? Ah, where's the lightning I can use, though? Oh, no, I can't. I haven't learned it yet. I haven't learned it yet. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I haven't yet learned to do the lightning. No, bring the boy back out again. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, the boy. Ugh. Oh, I see a cat statue has appeared. Can I just cut the boy? Cool. Oh, he's falling, he's falling. Ugh. Okay, cool. What we get is this the lightning? Lightning has to be close. I don't think there's many powers left. No, it's catwalk first, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, brother, I'm gonna climb up the statue. Oh, well, maybe not. I saw one that had a box on it. Oh my god. Oh, fucking relax, dude. Oh my god. Please fucking relax. Ow. Like lightning than ice, right? Yeah, thunderstorm. All right, show me them lightning rods. I'm ready for you now. Yeah, that's right. Eat shit. You came out its butt. How does that make you feel? Hmm. God, what a tanky boy. Yeah, I 
ice time. I don't know when I would use the ice in there, to be honest. Are you just open now? No. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd probably just use the blizzard. Uh, yeah. Well, this helps if you actually target the blizzard. Relax, my dude. We could just use the ice to do damage, right? Oh, he's all frozen. How about that? Alright, there he goes. We've almost got you now. It is definitely getting more serious as time goes by. This fish mech, you know, he's up to some shit in there, no doubt. Well, that didn't actually work. That's okay, we're gonna get him. We didn't get him. That's okay, it's okay, I'm not mad, I'm, I'm not mad. Now we got him. That was, you know, that that makes sense as a final boss, definitely. Um, <laughs> not bad, Fairball. Well, you know the drill. Let's have one of those famous howls of yours. Wait, how the fuck did you get here, then? Oh, goodbye. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm expecting to have to use Waka's sword in the near future. Bah! That furball's always spacing out like that. Amy can't get anything done without my help. Is that doggy crying somewhere, sis? Is that why the sunshine has disappeared? Sob. I haven't seen the doggy for a while now. Did my saying there's no such thing as gods cause all this? Snowy, the whole digging king. I never dreamt that you were a god. You're gonna make Hayabusa a nervous wreck if you don't get that sunshine again soon. Amaterasu, thanks to you, we can protect our village by ourselves. But you must be strong and triumph over evil, for the canine warriors so dearly wish to see you once more. Mm, that god sure was burning with passion. I don't know what happened, but if that mongrel doesn't come out of hiding, I'll have to send up a really big one to reignite that passion. So that ho oh, so that wolf was really a god. Perhaps I should have made an offering of my bamboo ware. It may be my fault that the sun has ceased to shine. Who would have ever thought 
that that rascal was really shearing away reborn. My, my, how that god loved my cherry cakes. This could, could this darkness be caused by hunger? Sure. Uh-oh. The boss is praying. Snowy, did something happen to you? Why has the sun suddenly disappeared? Fido won't roll over and play dead for evil. No brother of mine would dream of it. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha. Something in your brushwork touches the heart, Isun. You never abandoned your life as an artist after all. When one tries to master something, it ends in either success or failure. But it is in the attempt itself where you find the true value. Believe in your own power and walk your own path. Isun, I don't know what happened there. I see you have finally he heeded your calling. Your resolve is plain to see in your drawing. It has the power to move people's hearts and inspire their faith in the gods. Amaterasu, their faith shall be your power. Ha ha ha! He did it! My grandson did it! Look at the spirit behind this beautiful brushwork! He truly deserves the title of Celestial Envoy. It's work like this that can show the true glory of the gods and guide people to the right path. There's one thing I'm sure of, Amaterasu. You've found a much better companion than I could ever be. Okay, everyone, I know it's kind of hard to see in this darkness, but get a load of my latest work. Isun, the wandering artist, presents his interpretation of the great god Amaterasu. Can you hear me, Amy? You're not floundering about without me, are ya? You? You're gonna pull yourself together. I finally chose my path, and I have the resolve to see it through. I've started to roam the land as your missionary. But you gotta take care of things on your end too. Don't look so sad. Just psych yourself up like we always did, remember? Oops, I almost forgot. Check these out, everyone. It's the great god Amaterasu descending from the heavens. Pretty good, huh? Amy was smiling down from the sky just a little while ago. Something must have disturbed the furball's concentration, though. That's why the world has gone dark. Without Amy, we can't take a refreshing nap outdoors. Rice won't grow. Plants and flowers will wither. Laundry won't dry. Monsters will roam about like they own the place. In other words, our world will be a total mess. No one wants to live in a world like that, especially me. So come on, everybody. Let's join together to call upon the great God. Let's show Amy that we truly believe. Put your hands together and pray. Let's make our gratitude obvious. I mean, we shouldn't pray only when we want something. We should consider how the gods must feel once in a while. We should even take on some of their burden. If you pray with all your heart, maybe the sun will cheer up and show itself once again. Lighting our world with its heavenly glow. After all, the best thing about the great god Amaterasu is the happy-go-lucky spirit. Right, Amy? My son. Answer if you can hear me, you big furball.
We get to be the real Amaterasu now. I know. Okay, goodbye. Alright, let's get him. This is a lot of fire, brother. If you could relax, please. Alright, got him. Alright, it would be nice if you just got, like, infinite, uh... Ink for this, to be honest. I feel like that would be an appropriate, uh, thing. But whatever, that's fine. No hitting yet, okay. I'm sure our prayers have reached Amy, but the controller, however, needs a little bit more faith. And I know that no matter how dark it gets where that god is now, there's a great big smile behind that shining sun up there. Fucking Christ, relax. I'm sure our prayers have reached Amy. And I know that no matter how dark it gets out, that God is now. Alright, draw the sun. That makes sense. <laughs> God, they're in the end. Gonna use a bone so that that beeping stops. Ah, now I can just take it sick. Not there, though. Shit there, that's true. So. All right, six, slow time again. Nope, yeah, that, that was a little, a little a highly interpretive rendition of that one, to be fair. Now we got him. Now we got him in the loop. Ran out of ink. That's fine. It's time to use one of the infinity stones. Draw the sun. Oh. No. It could have gone better. You're not right. Fucking chill? Stop closing your eye. Got there in the end. Oh, he's not dead. Unfortunate. Fantastic, Amaterasu. 
What a long and winding road it's been, eh, my Shiri? But at last our arch nemesis Yagni, the Dark Lord, who brought darkness upon the land of mortals, has been annihilated for all eternity. I must say I was really surprised by your little bouncing friend. You couldn't have done it without him. Ha ha ha, that tickles. Down, heal, you're going to lick me to death. Well, Amaterasu, time to embark to even stormier seas. Making the world a better place is never easy. You must return to the celestial plane and set things in order. Only then can you usher in a new age of peace in the mortal world. Our journey is far from over, Mashiri. Now, full speed ahead. First stop, the Celestial Plane. The path to heaven, eh? <laughs> Kinda sounds like fun. You remember what I said the first time I met you, Amy? There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. So I'm going for a ball, and there's no way you're gonna stop me. I'm gonna pull out all the stops and inspire people's faith in you. You're gonna have more believers than you know what to do with. You'll see. Until then, take care of yourself, you big furball. Alright, we did it. We got there in the end. Uh, so, I mean, I liked it. Um, it has a really slow start, to be honest. Um, I feel like once you get... What's up, brother? Once you get to um, the... Uh, once you get over the the bridge into the capital that's like when the game starts as far as i'm concerned everything before that was pretty meh but it's it, it got progressively better as it went on like eh at the start get into the capital all right now we're talking you know now we got some real boys around um met uh fucking benke that was exciting um did some fishing and then, once you get to the Frosty Land, that's all excellent. Everything past Frosty Land, that's like 10 out of 10. Um, that's when the game, you know, it's unfortunate. I feel like the game didn't really get going until it was right near the end, um, to be honest. But hey, you know, what can you do? I get it. I get why people like it. Uh, fantastic art style, obviously, you know. Um, mechanically, the game does nothing for me, right? It's not a game I can see myself replaying, because the gameplay is eh. The combat is like pulling teeth for the most part. Not, a, not at all appealing to me. Um, 
Everything else is fine. There's a lot of, like, redundant dialogue that I didn't like, you know? Uh, well, we're gonna repeat the same piece of information, like, four cutscenes in a row now. Uh, I didn't like that. But besides that, like, it's, it's all good. Uh, it just took a really long time to get going. So, I, I, I hope they do make Okami 2. They clearly want to. Uh, it's a matter of if they actually get to do it. Apparently they haven't like gotten approval from Capcom yet, even though they kind of implied they had already. They clearly want to though, so hopefully they do. And you know, like Platinum has come a long way since it was Clover. I'm sure the gameplay would be excellent now. I feel like the drawing was uh, underutilized. You know, lots of just like draw a line from X to Y. Um, I feel like they could have done more with that, so I think that, and just like the combat in general. There's a lot you could do to expand it. Um, make the brush techniques more, like, diverse from each other. Cause, fire line, lightning line, ice line, grass line, that's it, you know. Part of it was probably also to keep it simple, but I'm sh they could do a lot more with that system, and I'm sure they would in the next one. And like Platinum, like they make they make good video games. You know, they've come a long way since they were Clover Studios. Um, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, and obviously, like Akami, like an Akami game on like modern hardware would doubtlessly be absolutely breathtaking visually. Because uh, the only thing that holds it back is just like the technology it was made on at the time, right? And it still looks good. Like you know. It, it has fantastic art direction, so it still looks good, but it would look phenomenal on modern hardware. Are the credits done? Hey, that's an angry little baby right there. Yeah. I thought that was what was going to be on his son's uh, painting that he was throwing around. Tragically not. Oh, fuck. And that concludes this most secret of tales. Well then, I'd say that's enough storytelling for today. This story contains the hopes and dreams of many fine people. Keep it close to your heart and cherish it. What's that? You want to know why I alone know this tale that no one knows? You listened to the whole story and never figured it out? You missed the whole point! Jeez, what's wrong with you? I suppose I'll have to tell the whole story all over again. Yet best learn to show my brush the respect it deserves. Anyway, I'm tired. Let's call it a day. If you're eager to hear more, I can tell you the rest of the story some other time. Until then, do your best to live up to the heroes I told you about. It's time to roll this scroll up and give it a title. Okami Amaterasu's Adventure. Come back again, okay? Until next time. And there's the part where they tease you that they're gonna make another game and the one you get is Okami Den and nothing else. I know what that's like. Are we just gonna play the whole credits like this now as well? Well, that's exciting. Um, that will have sounded good. Yeah, it was a good game, um, and I have nothing else to say, so now we're gonna sit here awkwardly and wait for the credits to end.
sick. That wasn't as long as I thought it would be. Oh, never mind. Hooray. Oh, deaths? Zero? That doesn't sound correct. Praise earned. <laughs> there, there was uh, room for improvement on that one. See our deaths. Good job, me. Presents from his son. A ka karmic transformer one. Karmic transformer two. Karmic returner. Stray bead. Karmic transformer three. Secret theater. You can save the game here. This save will be used to start your new adventure. Of course. Of course. Uh, all the way at number one. Yeah. We all good? That everything? Sick. Alright. Thank you for watching. Disco Elysium next.